Squadcast, Zencaster, Riverside, Welder. There's tons of options out there for you today to record HD audio and video for your podcast interviews. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is right for you. What's up, guys? Ryan Helms here, founder of Legacy Media and Melville.app. More about those down in the description section, but you came to this video for one reason and one reason only, because you're thinking about recording high-quality podcast interviews, and you're seeing a ton of options on the market right now. And in this video, I'm going to compare those four, and I'm going to show you exactly which one will be a good fit for you, because I'm going to go over the pricing tiers, the base features, what the UI is like when you're actually in an interview, and of course, what you really want to see is the quality of the audio and the video of each. But I don't want to keep you waiting for long to get what you actually came here for, which is a sample for each of them. But I'm not going to tell you which one is which, but I'm going to show you a sample of each of them here in one second. And then if you stick around to the end, you'll get to see which sample was which. But what I want you to do is after these samples play from each of the four platforms, I want you to drop a comment down below in this video and let me know which one you thought looked and or sounded the best. Go ahead, drop a comment down below right after these play now. And now let's take a look at the pricing for Squadcast. And remember, I have used Squadcast a lot in the past, but I am not a fanboy. I will give you an honest review here. So even though I currently pay for Squadcast right now, I've given them bad reviews in the past, and I'm going to be just as uh, unbiased as I am with any other one. So let's move my big head out of the way here. So let's take a look at the pricing. Um, so on this one, we don't have a free tier. So the cheapest tier here is 10 bucks a month, which is fine. I don't expect there to be a, a free tier. And again, this is just audio. So they separate theirs between audio and video. Um, since we're talking about video interviews, let's go ahead and just click over there. So if you do want to check this out, it's between 10 and 150 bucks a month that you'd be paying for Squadcast. If we look at audio and video, they do it per hour of recording and you can get between five and 25 hours and this can be between 40 and 300 bucks and let's see what you get so high quality audio and video the hd video at 1080p 30 frames per second uh screen recording separate tracks backed up on the cloud uh i don't see anything about transcripts uh it looks like you can mix your audio with a phonic to do like some basic post-processing on it conversations let's see what this is amplify remote uh noise canceling technology here so i don't see anything about transcripts which we saw that on welder uh so i don't see that there and only thing that looks like changes between this is the number of guests so on their pro or their mid-tier you can get up to nine guests and or 10 total host plus guests and on their low tier it's only four total host plus three guests so that's definitely something to keep an eye on and then five hours you know to be honest for most people if you're recording a weekly podcast this is five hours is enough right you can do a little more than an hour of uh, a weekly show so you should be just fine on that and you'll get audio and video on this so just like a, again a lot of the others you'll see they back up to the cloud and locally so you have some redundancy there for the files and they do the progressive uploading so as it's being recorded it's being processed and uh, that way when you're done you don't have to wait a long time for things to wrap up it's pretty much immediately available and here the difference obviously there's gonna be a huge difference because it's not being compressed um, at least as much as it is on Zoom and or Skype. So pretty basic stuff. I, I don't think their website is that well designed, just my opinion. Um, and definitely more expensive than Welder. We'll continue to see how this stacks up to some of the others. But I see a few less features here and a little bit more expensive on the audio and video. But again, it could be because the user experience is better. It could be because it's more dependable all things that we'll figure out once we can look at all of them together. All right, so now we are in a welder. Let's take a look. First things first, the thing that if you're like me, you really care about is the pricing because you're cheap. You buy uh, off-brand sparkling water and you don't want to spend a lot of money on your recording software. So let's take a look at that. Let's head over to pricing. This is getwelder.com. 
com here. So the first thing I see, I'll cover up this business plan because uh, it's probably not going to be applicable to most of us. But let's take a look. They have a free tier, which is amazing. But what I like here, unlimited free hours of high quality recording up to 4K and WAV files. So amazing, great quality video, great quality audio. Of course, if you have a DSLR like I'm using now, uh, that video quality is going to look way better uh, if you're just using a webcam like who cares if you have 4k it's a damn webcam uh, but we will get the separate audio and video tracks what we need for post-production to make it look amazing we are going to get a transcription which is awesome and we can have eight people in there which is fantastic because i think what we'll see is there's some limits on some of the others now our next tier here uh, again, unlimited, separate audio tracks, transcription. So the difference here is this one is going to, your free tier is going to have a watermark on it. So obviously if you're using this for any type of your um, content marketing, you probably don't want a watermark. So you'd want to go with their lowest tier, which is 20 bucks a month, or you can get all the same stuff for 200 bucks a year, saving $40. So that's the pricing. And obviously they have this business plan as well, but I would just chalk it up to 20 bucks a month to use welder for all the HD files without the watermark plus the transcription. So let's take a look at the features and see what all they have. So under tools, they have podcast recording audio recording remote interview recording blah 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 solo recording which is interesting because i don't think all of these are going to be promoting that so let's just take a look let's go to podcast recording because that's what we're uh, most concerned about so here's a little bit of what the ui is going to look like which obviously we're going to be testing that out um, then we have how to record set up your equipment create a studio record um, you can see the difference here. And I actually want to go back to the home screen and look at something as well in a section. We get the transcripts, which is pretty cool. We're not going to see this in all the ones that we look at uh, today. So this is pretty interesting that we do get the transcripts in the SRT and TXT files, uh, which we can do things like create blogs, turn that stuff into emails. Um, you know, a lot of little things you can do with the transcripts to, to make it cool. And then it looks like everything is both stored locally and on the server, which is something you're a theme you're going to see repeat through uh, most of these because it's similar tech on most of these. Let's look at the uh, solo recording software because this is an interesting selling feature, which you might be able to do on the others, but I, I don't think they, they push it all. Looks like you can uh, record your screen, uh, record your webcam or DSLR. This is actually really cool. I did not know they did this. And this is a great feature because you know, even right now I'm using Loom to record this section of the video and you could do the same thing in Welder, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's amazing. Audio recording software, it's going to record the audio as well. And you'll get that as a separate track, which is very cool because you ne don't necessarily get that with loom and then the transcriptions which is very cool so when you're here on the home screen which is cool is watch this video here uh, you'll see right now it looks nice and clear this is with uh, welder and then it's going to switch to zoom and you can see how it gets like really degraded and this is this is super common this isn't anything that um, you guys haven't experienced already recording content out there but just the the sheer i love how they uh explain it here with the visual to very clearly see the difference in the quality so that's definitely something that you would experience as well all right now let's look at riverside they have been making some waves lately L little joke anyway Riverside, uh, I've heard a lot of really great things about it. Let's take a look at what they've got going on. Let's move ahead a little bit smaller and get it out of the way here. Uh, let's head over to the pricing. Uh, we're starting out, I don't like to look at the yearly. Let's look at monthly because most people are going to buy month to month, at least in the beginning. So nine bucks a month, which looks appealing, but then you go up to the top here, two hours per month. So if we think back to Squadcast, we had five hours per month on their lower tier, which two hours per month, I mean, I guess it could be useful to somebody that doesn't do a lot, but if you have a weekly show, two hours probably isn't going to be a lot unless you do really short interviews. So it could work, it could not work, but two hours, just don't let that fool you uh, because I think that is uh, not a lot. Again, separate audio tracks. What's cool is if these other platforms do it, so far we haven't seen this really highlighted yet. I definitely could have missed it, but they do live stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, which I think is really cool, and they accept live call-in. So this is a much more like dynamic and engaging platform, um, uh, kind of similar to the 
be lives and stream yards and all those type of platforms that you can stream on and go live. So I think that this is cool that they're adopting some of that into this because I think it is really important. And that's where things are heading for sure. So and then their standard plan looks about the same, except you get five hours. So I would say if you're thinking about using Riverside, probably the 19 a month is what would work for you in terms of, you know, it would give you enough time to actually record interviews if that's what you're using for. And then their pro plan looks like it's the same, except they add transcriptions on their pro plan and then enterprise, which we're not really going to be doing that. So get full access to all the features and record 60 minutes for free if you sign up. So if you want to sign up for Riverside, uh, that's their offer. There will be a link down below in the description. That'd be awesome if you signed up. I don't think they have an affiliate program, so I won't make a penny off of it. But just use that link. That'd be awesome so I can see if people are clicking. And let's go back and look at their features. So this is actually really cool how they illustrate the difference. See how this is like pixelated and granular. And then this is super sharp so that's the value of using a platform like this of course you can compare the audio the video um, and one of the things that I, I like and it's not really it'll be illustrated below I think easy for your guests again you just send them a link just like with the other platforms uh, transcriptions which is cool separate audio and video cool okay this is just showing that you can adjust their um, levels which I think is cool because I don't think we're going to see that in all the uh, platforms that we look at today. So that's really cool. If somebody's too loud that you can, you can take them down a notch, uh, stream to your community. We talked about that. Super important. I think, uh, audience link, that's super cool screen share. Um, they've got the magic editor as well. So this is going to be, uh, similar to what we saw on Squadcast, where you can do like some, um, some post-processing on it. I think this might be a little bit more. So this is, Riverside. So, um, 19 bucks a month, give or take, uh, you can see their SOC two type two compliant sounds like a disease, but hopefully it's something good. And if that matters to you, you should probably read that again, 60 minutes. If you sign up for Riverside for free and yeah, on to the next. Zencaster is one of the OGs in the space. So let's see what they're bringing to the table. See if they got any more advanced features cause they've been around for a while or are they just mediocre and stack up? And let's take a look at their pricing. Not a lot of options here. I kind of like this because it's very like cut and dry. Like, do you want it or do you not want it? So they do have a free plan. Look on the right hand side there. Uh, host up to four guests, uh, unlimited audio recordings, trial 1080p video recordings. Like, I don't like that when it says like trial beta, especially on the, the video recording, because that's what we're talking about here today. We're talking about how do we get high quality video? And if something's still in beta, like, are you going to have the same experience I did with Squadcast when they first dropped the video feature? I don't know, maybe it doesn't seem like they're too confident in it right now, but same thing it says on the 20 bucks per month, 18, if you do yearly, uh, which could be cool if you want to do like sound effects and things like that. Probably not a huge selling feature for most of you guys listening to this. So you can sign up, uh, no credit card required. There's also a link down below this video to sign up. So not a lot to talk about here. Let's go back to the home screen. All right, let's see what kind of features they're highlighting. So we got full HD 1080. They got four people showing there. Uh, here's just some examples of the video recording here. Looks looks good. Looks looks better in Zoom. This guy's video looks awesome here. So he's definitely using a DSLR. Got some decent ambience and lighting going on. Uh, so we got studio quality sound. So here's the comparison of Zoom versus Zencaster. And uh, you can see because Zoom, this is a good illustration because Zoom, will change between like 720 whatever 180 whatever whatever the versions that it can drop down through are but since you're recording locally with all of these all of these are the same right uh squadcast zencaster riverside welder they're all recording locally so irregardless of your connection as long as you don't totally lose connection it's going to record and it's going to look great because it's recording locally you know sync later uh, built in void for chat and footnotes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that on the other. So that's an interesting feature. Chat isn't anything new, but the footnotes is interesting. And then the live soundboard. Yeah. It looks like you could drop in your intros and outros, add some music. So that's pretty cool uh, that you can do that. I don't see anything about transcripts, uh, but it looks like it's just like the other. So let's hop in and see what it looks like. 
All right, so now we are getting into Squadcast. So let's uh, let's start the session. Cool. We'll put our name. Make sure we have the right mic and camera selected. Uh, nice to see you guys. Hello. All right. Uh, these are all of our options here. We just type in our name. Everything's good on my side, and I'm going to click. And you can click these little buttons to learn more about those settings. Uh, and you can test your uh, mic and stuff beforehand, but I'm sure mine is already set up properly, so I'm just going to join session. All right, and on here, what's up, Peja? So on here, we have a message that says, conversation quality may fluctuate with connectivity. Um, and Peja, what's your uh, download speed on? So Peja is in Serbia, so we're doing a truly remote test of this right now. What's like your download upload speed on your side? Uh, I would say it's 300 uh, megabits per second, uh, download and upload around 150. Cool. So I'm similar on my side in uh, Denver, Colorado right now as we speak. So we can see on the screen right now the uh, UI, UX of Squadcast. We've got uh, mute. We can hide the camera. Uh, we can share our screen. Uh, we can see little decibel levels right here when, uh, when we talk to make sure our mic is done. Uh, we have a chat over here on the right-hand side, so um, I can send a message to Peja, and he will see that on his side. He can probably also see all the other conversations that have been in this session as well, um, which I think is weird. There's his reply. <clears throat> Um, but it, this is because I use the same session for every interview, uh, just because it's a lot easier for me to coordinate. Uh, we can invite people right here with this link up to two more people, total of four. And then here's all of our recordings that we can see all of our past recordings. And now we'll just hit record. So now what you're seeing on the screen now is the actual recording footage uh, from the Squadcast outputs. And if we, let's go back to the UI uh, view. And if we click right here, we can see that uh, we're actually recording and it's uploading the audio and the video as we record this. Okay, let's head back to the raw outputs. So now you're seeing the, uh, the outputs uh, again from Squadcast. This is me. We can see if there's any latency or anything like that. Why don't you wave on your side, Peja? Just so we can see any any latency in the in the recording, but it looks pretty smooth. Um, and again, they're they're doing the uh, progressive uploading in the background as we do this, so it's less dependent on the actual connection uh, that you have. So that's Squadcast. Now, Peja, let's head over to uh, well, let's do Welder next. So we'll head over to Welder. I'll see you in a second. Cool. So I'm going to hit stop on recording, and you can see it brings the window up again, and we've got our, our files processing here. And I'm just going to come up here and click uh, leave. It says we successfully rendered. Uh, I'm going to click leave. We'll tell them they did a good job. Let's see. It'll take us back to our sessions here. Um, and we can see the recordings that we did. The video is, is rendering uh, right now. Um, so these are our files. So once that's done, uh, let's go to a finished one. What you would do is you would click these buttons, click download, and you can download the audio and the video uh, together. You can download them separate in different formats, uh, and you're good to go. So that is Squadcast. All right, now we're in Welder. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So we're into the session. So let's do create new session. Uh, this one was a botched attempt down here. Uh, I'm going to be recording with others and we'll call this uh, YouTube test two. If I can spell. All right, let's do create. Uh, I'm going to grab this link and I'm going to send it to him. All right, I just sent that over. And while we wait on him, uh, so what it tells me is that I can join as a creator. So let's go ahead and do that. Cool. So it gives me some tips over here on the left and I can look at my settings to make sure we have the right camera and things like that cut on here. We're good to go there. Uh, I can add more people here from this screen. I can cut my camera on and off and, but I'm going to do join as creator. All right, and we've got Mr. Peja already here waiting for us. So we can see here uh, the UI on the screen is a, a little bit different than it was in Squadcast. Uh, what's up, Peja? How are you? Hey, doing well. Awesome. What kind of uh, equipment are you using? Uh, I'm using Shure SM58 for the mic. And for the camera, I'm using a webcam Logitech uh, C920. Cool. 
Perfect. Awesome. And um, let's go ahead and I'm going to hit record and we're going to jump over because I have the options over here to uh, hide the UI, switch to dominant layout, share screen. Let's see what those do in, when it's actually recording. So when I click uh, start recording, we're going to switch over to the actual output files from this. So we get a countdown here and as soon as we hit one, we will switch over. Cool. So now what you see on the screen is the output from the file. So it should have changed. And I'm going to do hide UI. I have no idea if this is going to translate into the outputted files or not. So I just did hide UI. We'll see what this looks like on the final version. And then we're going to do switch uh, dominant layout. Um, and what I see on the screen right now is Peja nice and big and me tucked in the right hand corner uh, small. Again, I don't know if this is going to look the same. Do you see it changing on your side, Peja, when I do this stuff? Nope. Still side by uh, side on your side? Yep, side by side, yeah. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, and now I'm switching back to grid layout. It doesn't look like I can make me prominent, only him. Okay, uh, and then we obviously we can invite people, we can cut our video off, we can cut our video on, all that good stuff. I'm gonna hit stop. And we get an option here to uh, stop recording for all participants. I'm going to do stop recording. Looks like it's doing some processing here on the screen. Could you see it on your side? Did it say it was recording or anything on your side? The the countdown, I saw the countdown. Okay, you did see the yeah, countdown. So that, that was, yeah. Sorry. Cool, awesome. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm going to end this uh, recording. So, Peja, we will catch you on the next one, which will be Riverside. So, I'll shoot you the link for Riverside in a second. I'm just going to wrap up here. See you in a minute. Okay. Cool. So, now let's end this. So, it says we need to end through uh, this button here. So, I'm going to do leave call. And there we go. Um, and it says we can uh, go to the dashboard. So, let's see our recordings. I didn't see a place to do it right there on that screen like it was in uh, Squadcast. So here's our test. It says uh, it's in processing right now. And here is uh, where the recordings will be. All right, now we are in Riverside. All right, I thought I had a plan, but it doesn't look like I do. So let's see if it'll actually let us create a test without having a paid membership. So I'm gonna do audio and video. And um, <clears throat> let's do enter studio now. Right, so I did not activate the subscription here. So my name, what's up guys? Um, so right now I'm actually not using headphones. Oh, uh, there we go, allow the mic cam. Ah, there we go, perfect. Uh, so make sure your camera is selected and then we'll do uh, join studio. I didn't see a place to grab the link, uh, here it is. Uh, so I'm gonna send this over. UI looks uh, cool. I like it. Okay, everything looks about the same. Buttons are in, obviously, in different places. Uh, we got media here. It looks like this is um, like sound effects. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. So you got a little soundboard. You got chat here uh, as well. And here is our guest. And it says that I'm in... Um, 576p as my quality, which I don't yep. know why that is. And I don't see an option to like choose to increase that. It says Peja is on 1080p um, HD. So he's obviously cooler than I am. Uh, and it looks like we can name our recording here. Uh, I guess it does not take the session name like the others do. I'm just going to call it test. And uh, how's it look on your side, Peja? Uh, looks good on my end of the screen, but you're really blurry. I would say, yeah, it's kind of worse than what we saw in the previous two versions. So it's blurry. You're actually, so I look crystal clear, uh, can like see the texture of my hair and everything. Uh, but you're, I, I agree. You're also blurry. I'm wondering if they do that, um, for, to re some type of latency or something that they might be trying to get away from. Um, the blurriness on his, his camera is not, right now at least, is not uh, because of Riverside, um, but the graininess is. So we'll see if that carries over. So let's switch over to the uh, recorded file that we're recording right now. Now, 
All right, so now what you're seeing is the output files from this. We'll see if it's still blurry as it did look on the screen uh, just a minute ago. Um, did you get any type of recording notification or anything on your side, Peja? Yeah, similar to the last one, kind of eight uh, countdown from eight back. And then, yeah, I can see it uploading on my right side. Cool. Awesome. Um, nice. So everything looks good. And it was just like the others, like you click the link and then you were able to join with no setup or anything. Uh, actually, it had a sort of a longer setup, but it was you could choose every section. You had to choose every section before you could get in. So it was like you, you couldn't get in before seeing which camera you're using, which uh, mic you're using. Uh, on the other two platforms, it was more or less done automatically. You just go ahead. It's still uh, quite intuitive, though, or you feel yeah, like somebody? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I, I see a benefit to it. You know, you can't jump in without seeing which camera is turned on. So, for instance, my laptop camera was turned on uh, as a default, so I had to change that. Yeah, I had to actually change mine as well. It defaulted to something else. And let's see if I click on some of this media right now, if you can hear it on your side. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> cool. Awesome. That's uh, definitely a feature that weren't in the others. And then I'll shoot you a chat. Cool. And you see a pop up or anything? Yep. Uh, yeah. It popped up and I can open up a chat section right on the right side. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to hit stop on uh, this recording. So there we go. Um, I didn't see an option to like change any of the screens like we saw over in Welder. Um, it says now you can close the page and we have like a hang up button uh, versus like a leave button that we saw on the other two platforms. And it says our upload is complete and our recording is done. Um, cool, Peja. We will see you on the next one, which is going to be Zencaster. So I'll shoot you a link for that one in a second. I'm going to wrap up here. Cool. So now, guys, let's do uh, leave, or as they would say, hang up, and let's see what happens. All right. In meeting for all. Got that double prompt, triple prompt. Um, oh, it looks like you can share this. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. Interesting feature. I guess it just shares an image. Uh, and then we can view our recordings. Cool. So here are our recordings, at, and it's given us the option to do some type of probably upgrade where we have access to this thing called a magic editor. I'm not gonna play around with that right now. Essentially what that's gonna do is try to take out the background noise from the audio if I had to guess. Um, and here we go, we got the like MP4 files, we got the WAV files. Uh, I don't see an option to get in. Okay, there we go. You can download MP3, they call it a backup track. Cool, and for whatever reason, my quality was lower even though I have a fantastic um, camera and uh, fiber internet. So I don't know what what was going on there. Um, but yeah, that is Riverside. You see here it's telling us, you know, this is probably what happened on the platform before where it was actually streaming in a lower quality but recording in a higher. But uh, Zencaster does a really good job of letting us know that up front. Cool, so we're here. Let's do a test for YouTube. So you got your three options. If you don't want to show video, just audio, just audio, but show video and record audio and video. Let's do audio and video. Allow. All right, I need to change my camera, probably in settings uh, here. Okay, everything else looks fine. Cool, so here I am. I like the little waveform that we've got down in the bottom. I just need to figure out how to invite my guest, here we go. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the layout. The, like some of the buttons are hard, like they kind of blend in because right? everything's white and blue. Here, let me send this link over. All right, um, and it looks like we can make some notes here, uh, which is interesting. I don't know if um, he will see those or not. We got our chat functionality, which we can't do until um, he gets here. It looks like if we scroll down, this will be where the guest comes in here. Oh, actually, we can chat. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, say something. Hello. Okay, cool. So we can see his waveform. Do you see my little waveform below your video there? Uh, not really. Okay, so you probably... You're, I guess. Okay. Yeah, but if I scroll, if I scroll down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have to scroll down as well, which I don't like. I wish it would kind of like 
mm. format it to where that was uh, visible without having to scroll down. Um, let's see what happens when I do this little hand thing. Do you see anything on your side? Uh, kind of your just your video box is kind of just bouncing slightly up. Uh, okay. But yeah, definitely not able to see the pop-up box until I scroll down. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then when I send a chat to you, you can see yep. that. Do you yeah. see the footnotes that I left in there, or is that only visible to me? Footnotes, no. Okay, I guess that's so, so it's only on the creator side. Um, and so let's, and one thing it did show is that it's going to stream in a much lower quality. Like you look really granular right now, uh, whereas on um, like Squadcast, the quality of the stream was actually really good as well. Whereas on the last two, the quality, quality of the stream was low, but it says the quality of the output will be good. So let's, I'm going to do uh, the countdown. Is it showing you a countdown on your side? Uh. No, not, just, not visible. Just, no, just I can see the red dot above that says that kind of shows that it's recording. Cool. All right, so uh, let's switch over to the recording file now. All right, so now the outputs that you're seeing are uh, from the recording itself. Uh, how was the experience getting into Zencaster? I sent you the link. Was it pretty easy? Super easy on on all accounts. Um, and yeah, just type in my name and I'm ready to go. Um, so unlike the others, I don't see the options to like uh, share a screen or change the view or anything like that. So that's definitely a feature that's not here uh, relative to the others. Uh, obviously, as you see, Paige, I can cut his video off. I can cut my video off. Um, but yeah, it's uh, much more, I would say, minimal than the others. And I definitely don't like the UI, like even where it's, it's counting down the timer, like if we go back to the uh, the overview screen shot right now, uh, showing the screen, you'll see we got the countdown timer and stuff. Like it just looks weirdly placed to me. I don't know if you can see that on your side, but again, I'm just being uh, nitpicky. Uh, when I click this little drop down, it tells me a bunch of uh, details about what's going on. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to hit uh, stop recording on this. And it says all your tracks have finished uploading and it's now safe to close this tab. So we got that little prompt. And uh, Peja, thank you so much for being a willing participant on this test of all four of these platforms. And uh, yeah, man, talk to you soon. Sure thing. See ya. Bye. All right, so let's wrap this up. Um, looks like we can have up to 10 people in here, so that is important to uh, to note. Um, and I'm going to hit log out. So here we go. And it takes us, looks like takes us back to the home screen. So let's go to dashboard. Whoa, that's kind of weird. So here we are, test for YouTube. This was the one we just did. It looks like here's where we can download the files. Got to kind of click it twice. Let's see what this producer podcast is. Okay, this is interesting. We can select the video layout. We would do is we would take the download files and we would actually mix this ourselves. But I guess this is if you don't have like post-production skills, uh, remove long pauses. I'm going to keep that off because I feel like that could make it look awkward. Um, and then you would just download it and it would have, it would be all pre-mixed. Like they would do their little audio pre-settings they would uh, go ahead and put the video side by side uh, but what we would have showed you would be us mixing in everything on our side on your own so you would just buy more time and here's what that looks like here and that is Zencaster ladies and gentlemen All right, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know which one you like from pricing to features to UI with the gas to final quality. Which one do you think was the best for you? You know, if I had to make a recommendation, uh, I think they're actually all very similar. Uh, if you're really strapped for money and you don't mind the watermark, welder might be a good fit for you. But overall, I think they're all pretty even. They all got some a little bit of feature here, a little bit of feature there, a little bit of difference in price, but it's all pretty similar. So, but I'm curious what you guys think. Drop a comment below. Which one are you signing up for? And don't forget, there's links for all of them down in the description section of this video. I hope you got some value and I hope this video gave you some clarity. And if you have any questions about each of them, drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.
click right below my head right now. And if you wanna watch more about growing your content marketing, watch one of these videos here or, or here, whatever side it's gonna be on. Peace.